So I wanted to make a quick video to help people whose media isn't being recognized correctly by Plex when you scan it in. So you should know how just to go to your library, click the three dots, scan library files, and Plex will do its thing. Well, I added two movies just recently, A Man Called Sledge and Sunset with James Garner and Bruce Willis from 1988, and you see that it's marked as a 2019 movie and the title's listed as Sunset 1988-HD. So to fix this, we'll go into the edit, lower left hand corner, and go to info to check our naming. Now I've checked this with the movie database um, and the movie should be named Sunset Space either 1988 or 1988 in parentheses. Then I've added a space dash space, and you can put any qualifier you want. Most of my movies are listed as 1080p or 720p in this area. This was supposed to be a 720p movie, doesn't quite look it, so until I can find a better copy, I'll label it more generically as HD, just to help me identify that it's not quite the quality I want and I can find it easily by that HD designator. So anyway, to fix the match, now go to the three dots in the lower right hand corner and click match. And Plex will give you some options. If you're lucky, you'll find it on this list, which we did. If you don't see it here, just scroll back up, click the search option and fix the title. So we know that should be sunset only, and we know the year should be 1988. And then for a little added bonus, click the agent and change it to the movie database. If I left it alone, it'll still probably find the movie. But if you really run into a hard one, just make sure you change that. And now we'll search again and Everything's fast on my system. Um, Verizon Fios is my internet provider at a gig connection, and I've matched and unmatched this a couple times in order to prep for making a recording of it. So it all happened quite quickly. Give it a little bit more time when you're doing it for the first time. So now we'll just click on the correct movie and wait for Plex to pull in the correct poster and movie descriptors. So now we'll go back in to edit and we'll see that the movie's named correctly, the sort title is proper, the movie release date is correct, the rating and the content rating are all filled in, the studio information, tagline, and summary are all there. At this point if you want to go to the poster and pick a different poster or add your own, Plex will never forget what you choose here or what you add yourself as long as the movie was recognized correctly. So maybe you like that one a little bit better. Maybe you want something a little bit bigger. So if you save changes, you do have to go back in one more time to do the background. So you can choose whichever background you want to. I'll do one additional step here. I will go to Tags, and I'll add this to two different collections on my server. This movie is a thriller, and I have a separate thriller collection, and it's also a western, so I'll add it to my Wild West collection. And when you hit Save Changes, it'll be there permanently because Plex found it correctly all based on the correct naming. And I don't care what media poster you choose for it, Plex will never change it because it found the movie correctly the first time. If you simply go in and force your own posters in when it's not found correctly in the first place, all Plex has to do is to find it correctly in the future to lose all the customization you've made. So it's better to have a proper naming convention 
unless you're a hundred percent sure on your movie or TV title go to the movie database or the TV movie database and check your titles before scanning them in hopefully this is helpful to some enjoy your plex